Okay. The first thing you want to do before you ever wear a matte lipstick is hydrate your lips. I'm using a lip conditioner and this is from MAC but literally any kind of lip balm will work. Let it sit on your lips for like 5 minutes before you apply the lip product just so that your lips are hydrated and they're not cracked or chapped because with any kind of lip product it just looks better when they're smooth but especially matte. It's going to catch the light and it's going to be really obvious if you have any dry or cracked areas. One thing about using this technique is it means that we don't have a matte lipstick to touch up with. We're going to have to repeat this method every single time we want to touch up. So I'm using a lip liner to make everything last longer, so hopefully I won't have to touch up at all. This one is just a color that is pretty similar to the lipstick I'm using. You could always go a little bit darker if you want to keep it ombre, um, but I'm just going to match everything up and then I'm going to apply the lipstick. Okay, so this is the lipstick I'm going to use. It's called Daredevil and it's from M Cosmetics. This is a really pretty color and it's really dark and vampy, but I don't like the fact that it's glossy. I just feel like it doesn't look very good on me and it goes on a little bit patchy. So I'm going to show you that you can do this even with colors that are not perfectly opaque and it's really, really simple. So I'm going to apply that and then we're going to come back with powder. Okay, I screwed up a little bit. I kind of put a little bit too much lipstick on. It just feels really heavy, so I'm going to take a tissue and I'm going to blot some of it off until the color looks even. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this and you don't have to put too much lipstick on to begin with. It's just a personal preference thing. The next thing that you're going to need though to make your lipstick matte is a translucent powder. And this is really basic, like you could use actually something that has color in it. I always prefer translucent just in case I'm using this with a lighter lip color so it doesn't affect the shade. So all I like to do is take my fingers and swirl it into the powder and then I pat them across my lips really gently. You don't want to move your lip color around but you want to press this powder in so that it can start to absorb that oil or whatever is making the lipstick glossy. So I'm going to pat that on and you can see I'm putting a lot on. Just keep going until you feel like your lips are matte and then once you have all that powder on there, press them together a couple of times until everything absorbs back into the lip product. That's what's going to make it matte and you can of course go back in with some more powder and touch up if you feel like you missed a spot. That's the completed look. It's really really easy and I love this because I have so many lip products at home that I just want to use but I just don't like the fact that they're not matte. So I hope Hope you guys find this helpful and I hope that you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and don't forget to check out last week's video. It's an armpit mask. It's kind of weird but it shows you how to lighten your dark armpits. If you have dark underarms it works amazing and I really hope you guys like that video too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you really really soon and I hope you have a great week. I love you. Bye!